Europium is a rare earth metal from the periodic table's lanthanide series. Europium is the lanthanide series' least dense, softest, and most volatile element. The pure metal is silvery, but even a brief exposure to air dulls it. Except for hydrofluoric acid, europium reacts readily with water and diluted acids. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about europium. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Eugène Anatole de Marseille, a French scientist, discovered the element and named it after Europe. One of the least abundant rare earths, its concentration in the earth's crust is approximately equal to bromines. It appears in trace levels in numerous rare earth minerals, including monazite and bastnasite, as well as in nuclear fission products. Both of its naturally occurring isotopes, europium-151 to 47.81% and europium-153 to 52.19%, are stable. A total of 34 radioactive isotopes, excluding nuclear isomers, with masses ranging from 130 to 165 and half lives ranging from 0.9 nanoseconds, europium-130, to 36.9 years, europium-150, have been identified. Europium is often isolated from the other rare earths by oxidizing it to plus two and precipitating it with sulfur ions. The metal was created through the electrolysis of fused halides, the reduction of its oxide by lanthanum metal, and the distillation of the europium metal. Europium has only one allotropic, structural form. Europium is primarily used in red phosphors in optical displays and TV screens that employ cathode ray tubes, as well as in glass for fluorescent lamps. It is also employed in X-ray tomography scintillators and as a blue color source in light-emitting diodes, LEDs. Europium behaves like a conventional rare earth in its predominant oxidation state of plus three, generating a series of typically pale pink salts because of the existence of unpaired electrons, its iron is paramagnetic. Europium has the rare Earth's most easily generated and stable plus two oxidation state. Europium. Salts ranging from white to pale yellow or green are known, including europium, II, sulfate, chloride, hydroxide, and carbonate. The anhydrous travelant halides can be hydrogen reduced to produce the halides. That's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.